So I've got almost everything that I need now. So I've got some peas, some butter, some gnocchi, and some uh, parmesan cheese, but I'm missing something pretty important. I'm missing some sage. So I'm just gonna nip upstairs. There's cute stairs here. And I'm gonna get some beautiful sage that I've got growing on our little ledge out here. So, check them out. Okay, select some beautiful leaves. Oh, those treats. Perfect. I've got sage on the ledge here for the last month. And um, same with my basil and my mint. I lost one basil, but overall, love having the herbs there. One thing that I love in this is the, the peas that go through right at the end. These peas, we've had these a few times now. They are just, if I can open this properly without losing all the peas inside. Look at them, they're beautiful. You get the point, these peas are beautiful. This I'm putting under my locally inspired for France, but you might look at gnocchi and think automatically that it's Italian. In Nice, we've been told, well, we've discovered that the, the people of Nice claim gnocchi as their own sometimes. So, oh, I can't claim that as true, but there's definitely some real, really quality gnocchi at a lot of the pasta shops, at the markets, and I've tried a lot of them now. The one I'm actually cooking now, I've never tried before, but it's from one of the pasta shops that we've got so much pasta from this trip. It's a, it's a really good shop, so I'm, I'm gonna assume this gnocchi is gonna be one of my favorites too but um, I'm just gonna be cooking it with a sage and burnt butter sauce and then putting some peas in as well. But yeah, no, this is gonna be really good. I'm excited. The beautiful gnocchi. Okay. The buttery, the better. There's a bit of gnocchi there, so you want it to be uh, nice and saucy. Add my, add my sage too. Since I took you up to my lovely uh, herb shelf, I got a bit more sage. I didn't think I, there was enough there. So I've now got 14, uh, 14 leaves. The last thing you want is not to have enough in there. Get some of that out when it starts to float up. Look at it coming along already. Love it. So most of that gnocchi is all done now. Just transfer all your beautiful gnocchi into that pan. So I would love if I got them a little bit crispy, but it's looking like I've got quite a bit of butter in there this time, so we'll see how we go. Let's just say I went a bit easy on the peas. Not even probably half of what I'd want to put in here, so. Keep that in mind, or just a bag of frozen peas is just as easy. I'm not used to this buying buying uh, peas in, in the pods and peeling them, but I love it, the peas are so good. But um, yeah, you need to buy quite a lot of pods. All right, let's see how these guys are traveling. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, lost one. Casualty. Beautiful, that's got a nice crisp edge on some of them. Just a moment more, because I don't want to overcook them, because uh, they're looking, looking like they'd be pretty tasty right now, but just a little bit more, get them a little bit golden on a bit more sidage. Sidage. Who am I kidding, the crispy bits are the best bits, so I'll, I'll leave them there for a bit. Let's see how those sage ships went. Mmm, crispy. Well, there you have it. You have some beautiful potato gnocchi in a burnt butter sage sauce with some peas in there as well. A little cracker pepper. And just a nice little grating of parmesan too. So there you have it. Lovely. 
fresh gnocchi that was bought from just around the corner and definitely one that was inspired from my time here in Nice.